all this information to you. Let me blow your freaking mind. Nobody on the YouTube space has gone down the rabbit hole and connected things the way that I'm about to full circle all this. So keep in mind, right? All righty, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another CyberX video breakdown. I have some massive fundamentals for you all today. Very interesting information. going to try and attempt to piece it all together for you all. We're going to be talking about digital identities, Elon Musk's Neuralink. We're going to be tying in the World Economic Forum, Ripple, Accenture. I'm going to be attempting to go down the rabbit hole as deep as I possibly can, which are going to be some things that I leave out. There's actually so much information that I could have jam-packed in this video, but I tried to kind of highlight the most important fundamentals that I had for you guys to piece all of this information together to really get you all to see that this digital transformation has all been a systematic plan since day one. Again, this is all my personal opinion. You all need to take it upon yourself to do your own research. None of this constitutes as financial advice. So let's jump down the rabbit hole. Like I said, I think I had over 25 tabs open for you all before I started this video. Now I have about 12. So if that kind of just shows you how much information I had to cut off of this, um, it's going to be crazy. So we're going to start here. This recent article that just came out, all right, uh, we have Elon Musk faces a legal batter over Dogecoin price manipulation. Now, people don't understand how deeply rooted Elon Musk is with this whole fourth industrial revolution, digital identity agenda, uh, cryptocurrency narrative, right? And I'm going to show you in today's video how deep the rabbit hole goes. So starting off with this article and this fundamental, okay, a lot of people will see this. And the reason why is because they're attempting to shift the attention away from what's happening behind the scenes, what's actually happening. Let me show you all again. So they're using mainstream narratives like this to project the retail herd. And uh, what this does is obviously, of course, causes fear amongst the retail traders. Now, let me show you all how none of this technology is going anywhere. And it's actually only going to get even crazier from here. Um, so this article just came out May 26, 2023. I'm sure the majority of you all heard Elon Musk's brain implant firm Neuralink gets approval for human trial. This is absolutely massive surrounding this whole digital transformation and this digital identity, global uh, interoperability system, interoperable system where everybody's identity is tracked and traced on one centralized system. Um, people people don't really understand how crazy this is, and it's actually coming into fruition. And they've been attempting to tell us this for some time. I'm going to show you that in today's video. We're going to play a little, uh, a little video clip that literally tells you piece by piece what is happening behind the scenes. And then I'm going to show you all fundamentals from the World Economic Forum, from Elon Musk, from all of these individuals, Ripple and Accenture, and show you guys how massively deep the rabbit hole goes. So keep this in mind, Elon Musk's brain implant firm, Neuralink, gets approval, right? That that was just, just recent, okay? Um, now, this is from Google, talks about the digital transformation. And I'm just going to prove to you all that Elon Musk is heavily embedded into this digital infrastructure and this transformation that's that's taking place. And these articles that you're seeing surrounding Elon Musk and these legal battles over Dogecoin, price manipulation, right? It's all smokescreen, okay? It's all smokescreen to take the attention off of what's actually going on. So this is from Google. Shout out to my buddy, Sebastian, who sent me this information. Um, it goes on to read, in addition, we are finding new solutions for operations of important facilities which use satellite internet technology. Ukraine is one of the countries with the largest number of Starlink terminals. Remember, Starlink is connected directly to, to Elon Musk with about 20,000 terminals. We received terminals from Elon Musk's SpaceX company, ministers of digital transformation from EU countries and partners. It goes on to talk about Starlink makes it possible to ensure the stable internet connection of critical infrastructure facilities, including medical energy and education and business. In addition, Starlink terminals have helped restore communication in Irpin, Buka, I'm not going to butcher these, these names, and other settlements after the occupation. Now, I've gone over in previous video breakdowns how Ukraine is tied with the Stella Development Foundation, how they're evolving into a digital economy. Um, we're going to get into a little bit of that today. So this obviously, of course, plays a crucial role. We see Starlink terminals doing what? They are um, creating facilities, including medical, energy, and education businesses, and they're attempting to restore communications all across Ukraine, right? 
So keep that in the back of your mind moving forward. Again, I'm just showing you all how deeply embedded Elon Musk is with this digital transformation. This article is insane and needs to be paid attention to as we go down the rabbit hole even further. Elon Musk, people don't realize what is coming. He said in 2022 in April, Earth won't exist in 12 years. Now pay attention to what he says. He says, this is a direct quote from Elon Musk. I wonder how many dead one planet civilizations there are out there in the cosmos, species that never made it to another planet and ultimately extinguished themselves or were destroyed by external factors, probably a few. He goes on to say, Elon Musk then sees two possibilities for humanity moving forward. Either we stay on Earth until an eventual uh, internal or external doomsday event wipes us out. Maybe that's in a billion years from now, or maybe that's tomorrow. Who's to say? And then he says, the second, we become a multi-planetary uh, species so that we have a similar chance of going extinct. Moreover, if Earth ever were hit by a meteor or suffered a nuclear attack, then a civilization on Mars could help build it back. So why am I why am I even reading all of this information to you? Let me blow your freaking mind. Nobody on the YouTube space has gone down the rabbit hole and connected things the way that I'm about to full circle all this. So keep in mind, right? Elon Musk's Neuralink. Do you all know what Elon Musk is mainly known for? Aerospace and in the automotive industry, right? Keep that in the back of your mind, okay? Because that's going to play an important role. So I just recently posted some snippets of this World Economic Forum State of the Connected World 2023 edition insight report from January 2023 on my Twitter page, all right? So I go on to say on Twitter, the full potential of the Internet of Things and related technologies remains untapped. That is a direct quote from this PDF. We'll get into it in just one second. I've been trying to tell people we are still early. The digital transformation is coming. They have already told you this in movies. Go watch Anon, A-N-O-N, -N, on Netflix. It will blow your mind. Then go look at China. After that, go research the digital identity system that they are building on a global scale. All right, now let's get into some of these little tiny clips, these little tiny pictures from that PDF. It says right here, a unified internet of things and related technologies. Greater alignment of public and private sector efforts is required to minimize the fragmentation of current policies and programs to increase the incentive of businesses to adhere to guidelines. It is critical for governments and industries to create a common shared standard in their cybersecurity practices. Um, it goes on to read, it says right here, as society moves towards online channels, businesses and governments have responded by greatly accelerating the digital transformation, spurring the adoption of these developments in personal lives, the public sphere, and the market. Innovations allowed for an increase of the use of the Internet of Things related technologies that improve quality of life for individuals and drew governments nearer to citizens, allowing for former to provide better services and provide businesses with insights and solutions to address challenges within their industries due to the what? The pandemic, right? Keep that in the back of your mind as well. Last but not least is the last page. It says the role of the Internet of Things and related technologies continues to affect the way people work and live. This digital transformation presents an opportunity to shape a future that is more sustainable, inclusive, and prosperous for all. Yet I'm telling you all right now, there's only about 4% of the entire freaking population that is even awake and aware to what is actually happening. And you all listening, I'm telling you all right now, watch how I full circle this, okay? It says right here, the Connected World 2020 edition, which was a recent or a, a previous report from the 2023 edition, shed light on the importance of the Internet of Things and related technologies, providing solutions to the challenges of the novel pandemic. Last but not least, it says the full potential of the Internet of Things and related technologies remains untapped. This is just coming out in 2023, ladies and gentlemen, right? They're telling you all that this technology is still untapped. We're at the early stages. And as the world becomes increasingly connected and digitized, the systematic challenges must be acted upon, requiring the commitment of various stakeholders within the ecosystem, right? So remember that movie that I was telling you guys about in this overall tweet, Anon? You guys can go check this out. I'll play a little video clip. There's a stretch. It's an optical illusion, which later disappears from my record. And it doesn't end there. At this moment, I'm seeing a train at the platform. A train that isn't there. Placing a moving image in real time. Who can hack a human being? How do we stop this? 
to find a hat cat, we hire one. What can I do for you? Girl was a blank slate, no digital footprint. Um, but mainly what this video is about, again, it's Anon on Netflix, A-N-O-M. It's about a futuristic scenario where the police force, the government, has the ability to digitally identify every single human being, right? And in the movie, they talk about hacking humans, they talk about digital footprints, and they show you a future where the government has access to this technology to track, trace, control, and monitor every single human being on Earth. And think about what just happened. Remember we how we started this whole entire video. Okay, Elon Musk, brain implant firm Neuralink gets approved for human trial. Now, what is Elon Musk heavily involved in? The aerospace community and the automobile industry, right? Watch what I'm about to freaking show you. Again, remember, we started by, sh I showed you all that articles like these, Elon Musk is facing legal battles over Dogecoin price manipulation. People, this is a distraction, okay? So now let's go down the rabbit hole. If you didn't already know, the elites, I'm just reading a, tw a tweet to you all. If you didn't already know, the elites are using crises, pandemics, proxy wars to issue in the fourth industrial technologies like artificial intelligence, blockchain, and distributed ledger tech. I've shown you guys that. I'm not making that up. I'm going to show you guys that again in today's video breakdown. And we even just saw, right, Elon Musk, Starlink, SpaceX providing what for Ukraine? Okay, look right here. Digital transformation, space, SpaceX company, ministers of digital transformation from EU. Starlink makes it possible to ensure the stable internet connection of critical infrastructures and facilities, including medical energy and education and businesses, right? Why? What are they doing? This all started based off the what? The occupation in Ukraine, right? So I'm not making this up. They're utilizing proxy wars and all of these things overseas to issue in this new era to test this technology. I'm even going to show you that in the fundamental today from Harvard, right? So back to this tweet, um, slowly issuing in the fourth industrial revolution. We sounded crazy, but starting now in 2023, we don't sound so crazy anymore. Multiple world leading organizations have publicly confirmed this. I'm not making any of this information up. This is all publicly confirmed by the Bank of International Settlements, the IMF, World Economic Forum, Re World Trade Organization, the International Chamber of Commerce, the United Nations. They're the ones telling you this information because people lack the intellectual capability to go read articles from these high-end organizations, majority of people don't know that this digital transformation is happening, okay? And they don't care who suffers, and one can only imagine what's coming next. So let me show you what's coming next. All started from this article here. Elon Musk's brain implant Neuralink gets approval for human digital trial. I just showed you guys the um, movie, right? Anon on Netflix. I'm telling you all, think about it. Once you see that movie, it's literally going to blow your mind. So this is an article directly from the World Economic Forum. This is where we're going to start to connect Accenture, Ripple, Elon Musk, cryptocurrency, digital assets in the future. Okay. World Economic Forum, you guys can see at the top of my screen. What is this article labeled as? Just came out May 30th, 2023. So this is fresh off the books. Like I said, nobody's going down the rabbit hole on YouTube or Twitter like I'm about to show you guys. This is called the digital identity models. Remember that digital identity. What did I tell you all that movie was about, right? Digital identity, a governmental, um, I, I don't even know what kind of technology they call it in the movie, but it's where the governments, the police officers can digitally identify all the citizens. Okay. What did Elon Musk just do? His company Neuralink just groundbreakingly is now allowed to do what? Human experiments. Okay. Check this out. Digital identity models. What's next for secure and seamless travel? Let's scroll down here. This is directly from the World Economic Forum. Global events such as the pandemic have accelerated the need for an innovative digital solution that enables safe and seamless travel. So boom, do you guys see how I'm not crazy anymore? I'm literally trying to tell you and wake you up. They have told people publicly that the pandemic caused all of this. Okay. Several countries are being are beginning to accept digital travel credentials in place of physical passports. As predicted by, this is where Accenture comes into play, as predicted by Accenture's Tech Vision 2023 fundamental. Indeed, global events, including COVID-19, the pandemic, irregular migration, crisis, and climate change are raising the need for innovative digital solutions to facilitate a more efficient and touchless, safe, and secure travel experience. So they're talking about digital identities coming into play for physical passports. Right? You all see? And this, who's, who was this predicted by? Accenture. So pay attention. That's going to play an important role. Let's continue with this World Economic Forum fundamental. It says, 
a risk-based approach powered by sophisticated AI, artificial intelligence, will require trusted, high-quality, and verifiable data across the entire traveler experience. This cannot be achieved in a system that involves manual checks of paper-based credentials. Credentialing the entire traveler experience will give individuals a simpler, safer, and improved travel experience and keep borders more secure and protected. Digital credentials, literally, that's the headline of this. The COVID-19 pandemic has also accelerated the adoption of digital credentials and identity wallets that enables travelers to use mobile devices for identification, authentication, authorization throughout their travel. So this is not, I'm not making this up. This transformation is happening. People just don't believe it because in a city, in your city, it might not be happening yet. But there are places like the Netherlands, Switzerland, the Ukraine, these smaller nations, these smaller countries where they are testing all of this. They're just not testing it in the big places just yet. Like the United States, it's not very common. OK, um, so it goes on to talk about digital travel credentials that present an opportunity to accelerate seamless travel. You guys can see all that right here. It talks about e-passports, virtual credentials, biographical data, security features, like just a whole bunch of big names. I don't want to, you know, bore people to death with. But here it talks about the International Organization of Standardization or hmm, ISO. Do you all remember the whole 2022 massive developments surrounding ISO and all these bullish moon boys? They didn't understand how deep the rabbit hole goes. Go watch a BAFT, okay, uh, YouTube video that only has 80 views and listen to the BAFT discuss and talk about the role that ISO 222 is going to play in the future, right, in 2025 and beyond. Um, it goes on to say that ISO is developing a mobile a mobile driving license standard, okay, that is gaining a lot of traction, especially in the U.S., where the number of states offering MDLs is rapidly growing due to an increased demand for contactless forms of digital identities, right? So even ISO is involved in this digital identity transformation. I'm just trying to show you guys how deep the rabbit hole goes. But let's go back up to Accenture, where they mention on the World Economic Forum website, Accenture's Tech Vision 2023, right? Um, so first, we're going to just pause from Accenture real fast. Uh, World Economic Forum report, future jobs report, 2023. I'm trying to give you guys as much updated information as I possibly can. This just came out 30th of April, 2023, right? Here's that report. This is where I'm going to blow your mind and show you how deep the rabbit hole goes and show you how this connection with Elon Musk is a freaking smokescreen, okay? On the World Economic Forum PDF, again, future jobs report of 2023. Here's that PDF right here, all right? I'm going on to page 78. And right here, you can see a graph that looks very confusing. But at the top of the graph, if you pay attention to detail, it says impact of technology adoption on jobs from 2023 to 2027. Pay attention to the dates. Okay, It says in the next five years, impact on jobs. It has numbers from negative 100 all the way to 100. Dark blue is 100. Purple is negative 100. And look where it says right here. It says cryptocurrencies, right? Dark blue 100. And if you scroll to the top, you can see right here, there's a letter C. You also see that there's a dark blue 100 next to cryptocurrencies. So if you come down here to the key, it says right here, C, automotive and aerospace. So hold on a second. This is a World Economic Forum 2023 updated jobs report, right? It says right here, cryptocurrencies. Impact of technology adoption on jobs, 2023-2027. So the, mo the the biggest sector, one of the biggest sectors that's going to be impacted by cryptocurrencies is going to be the automotive and aerospace ecosystem, right? So that's crazy. That's literally coming directly from the World Economic Forum. And remember I told you all, what two business endeavors is Elon Musk heavily invested in? Aerospace and the automobile industry. What is his... Starlink system already doing, providing what? Ukraine with aid, right? Are you guys starting to see the pieces of the puzzle get put together? Now back to Accenture real quick, okay? Because in this document from the World Economic Forum, this fundamental, it talks about Accenture's tech vision 2023. Watch how I'm about to blow your mind. Remember, once is, is a coincidence, but twice, it cannot be a freaking coincidence. Look at this. This is that fundamental PDF. If I scroll up to the top, okay, you guys can see. When atoms meet bits, the foundation of our new reality, this is directly from the Tech Vision 2023 put out from Accenture, okay? And if you scroll down here to page 23, this is where it gets freaking crazy. There's a timeline for digital identities, 
okay? Now, after 2023, what I want you all to pay attention is to the year 2028, what Accenture says right here. It says, a major car manufacturer launches a digital ledger creating unique tokens for each car, allowing customers, dealers, and service providers to log accidents, maintenance, and sales of specific vehicles. What? What? Hold on. Do you all see what I just did right there? So Elon Musk, again, his two biggest industries that he's involved in is automotive and aerospace. You guys constantly see fundamentals coming out, trying to distract the general public from how deep the rabbit hole goes surrounding Elon Musk's involvement with this whole entire fourth industrial revolution. We now have confirmed from the World Economic Forum website that one of the biggest areas for the impact of technological adoption on jobs from 2023 to 2027 is going to be the what industry? The automobile and the aerospace industry. I'm like, my mind is so blown when I go down these rabbit holes. It's crazy. So Accenture, let's talk about them because a lot of people don't know how freaking important their involvement with this whole entire thing is. Okay. I said to you guys on Twitter just recently, people don't understand what is happening and what massive role Ripple, the company, is playing in this digital transformation. Now, remember at the beginning of this, we started talking about digital identities, right? I just showed you guys Elon Musk's involvement with brain implants firm Neuralink gets approval from human trials, digital identities, Elon Musk's involvement right now with the current landscape surrounding this digital transformation. You guys can literally see at the top of this document, it says digital transformation, Elon Musk SpaceX company, okay, is doing what? Providing Starlink terminals to Ukraine, okay? Let me, I'm going to continue to blow your mind. I have so many more documents. So let's go back to this tweet. Accenture provides a range of services, for those of you who don't know, to governments and federal agencies, leveraging their expertise in consulting technology and digital transformation. They assist governments in modernizing their operations, enhancing citizen services, and driving efficiency through innovative solutions. I know that some influencers have covered Essential and Ripple Connections in the past, but they have not gone down the rabbit hole like this. Accenture does what? Pay attention to detail. They help governments with digital transformation, strategy and consulting, IT modernization, citizen services, data analytics, cybersecurity, and workforce transformation. Hmm. Guess who's partnered with Accenture? Ripple. Look at this straight from Google. It says, Accenture, we provide a range of tech-enabled services to clients across the U.S., federal government, including the intelligence community in the Department of Defense, right? Think about Space Force. Think about everything, right? I'm telling you guys, you guys don't even understand how many freaking fundamentals I had to pull out from this just to cut the video short. So let's go over to the Accenture website. You guys can confirm this yourself. Who do they serve? National Security, Defense, Civilian, Public Safety, Federal Health, like the, over 15 cabinet departments and 60 clients across the country, okay? Um, now back to the World Economic Forum. Real quick, just to show you guys another connection with Elon Musk. Straight World Economic Forum website right here talks about the fourth industrial revolution by Klaus Schwab. But it says right here, ubiquitous mobile supercomputing, intelligent robots, self-driving cars, right? Remember, we just connected Accenture. What did they predict? Major car manufacturers launches the digital ledger, creating unique tokens for each car. World Economic Forum website right here, 2027. 2023, 2027, biggest disruption in jobs, cryptocurrencies, automobile industry, aerospace. Elon, are you guys freaking tracking what I'm putting down for y'all? Like without saying too much with getting this video taken down? Come on now. Self-driving cars, neurotechnology, neurotechnological brain enhancements, straight from the World Economic Forum website. Genetic editing, the evidence of dramatic change is all around us and it's happening at an exponential speed. That's coming directly from the World Economic Forum website. Neuralink technology, brain enhancements, right? Hmm, I wonder. You think it's all coincidence? I think not. Look at this, World Economic Forum website. It says right here, have you ever wished you could add a little extra memory to your brain? Elon Musk may be able to help you with that. Musk heads the company best known for making Tesla, the industry-leading electric car. He is also the CEO of SpaceX, which is building rockets so that humans can live on Mars. Now Musk has revealed that he is the founder and chief executive of Neuralink, 
a startup seeking to create cerebral implants that will turn computers into a direct extension of our brains and thus enhancing our intelligence and memory. Do you guys understand how big this is? They are playing with people. If you think for one second that cryptocurrency is going away, you, I just don't know how people don't see it. <laughs> oh man. So this is directly from the World Economic Forum confirming that Elon Musk straight from the WEF is what headed an automobile in an automobile industry and the aerospace industry. And remember that PDF directly from the World Economic Forum that confirms the most jobs that will be disrupted from 2023 to 2027. Look at this. This is one of the only dark blues all the way at 100. The other one that's a dark blue is quantum computing. OK, but for actual but for C, for cryptocurrencies, it's only the only dark blue color right here. All the way up for the most jobs being replaced or disrupted is the automotive and aerospace industry. None other industry. You think that that's a coincidence? I'm telling you right now, it cannot be a freaking coincidence that this information is directly on the World Economic Forum in collaboration with Elon Musk and his connections to this whole entire fourth industrial revolution. So just to show you guys another example off topic, um, this article is from October 22, 2022, JP Morgan exploring digital identities, just to show you guys another example. There's like a thousand other examples I had pulled up for you guys, just to show you guys that digital identities are 110%, in fact, coming into fruition. But let's focus on one. Remember, we talked about Starlink terminals being provided via SpaceX to who? Ukraine. To do what? Starlink makes it possible to ensure the stable internet connection of the critical infrastructure facilities, including medical, energy, education, and businesses. Where? In Ukraine. Okay? So think about that as I'm about to read this article to you from freaking Harvard. Digital transformation in Ukraine before, during, and after the war. Like I said, it is not a connection. Just some highlights from this. It says, many countries admired our digital transformation efforts and achievements. The OECD wrote about the ministry's role in the digital economy's fast-growing move before the war and how the Ukrainian IT community has accelerated its efforts since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. Remember, I told you guys, proxy wars, pandemics, okay, crises, all these things to issue in the fourth industrial revolution is not a freaking game. They're literally telling you all right here that since the full-scale invasion, they have stepped up their IT community, right? It says right here, on a goal of digitizing all government services by 2024, in order to digitize such a big country as Ukraine, a new organizational structure for the government was created, including establishing the new position of a chief digital transformation officer. Do you think that they're just you think that they're just establishing tr uh, a chief digital transformation officer for no reason? Of course not. It's going to be for a reason. Right here, what's that reason? It says, in just three years since the establishment of the Ministry of Digital Transformation, we made a big leap in digitization. Ukraine became the first country in the world where digital smartphone passports, remember I talked to you guys about digital identities, became full legal. Analogs of ordinary documents. Ukraine became the fourth country in Europe to have digital driver's license. Ah, digital identities. Remember, we talked about all this. We have launched the world's fastest business registration, the digital signature, and smartphones, and many other unique services. Last but not least, it says down here, after the war, transforming Ukraine into the freest and most convenient country in the next 10 years. Right now, we are working on implementing our vision for 2030. Our ministry team sees Ukraine in 2030 as the freest and most digital country in the world. And like, do you all see that statement right there? And what is Elon Musk doing via Starlink, SpaceX, providing them what? Again, Starlink terminals that do what? Provide stable internet connections for a critical infrastructure. You guys freaking seeing how this is all tied in. With a powerful and technological sector, the fastest customs in the world, and the best tax conditions, this year Ukraine received the official status of a candidate for EU membership and will become a member of the EU. Re Ukraine will become the largest IT hub in Eastern Europe with the highest GDP growth rates, industrial parks, and our own Silicon Valley. Where is Elon Musk predominantly known to hail from? Silicon Valley? Come on now, people. Now let me tie all of this in with Ripple. Remember I mentioned to you guys in the tweet with Ripple's connection with Accenture and how important it is, Accenture being tied to digital identities, how they're tied in with the government, how they're tied in with the World Economic Forum, how they're telling you all that the automobile industry and the aerospace industry will be disrupted by cryptocurrencies. Like it's so freaking crazy. This rabbit hole goes so deep. I'm telling you guys, I'm so bummed I had to take out so many freaking documents today. All right, this is from American Banker. 
This document goes on to read, Ripple debuts digital identity project with 40 companies on board. The distributed ledger company has partnered with about 40 companies in finance, technology, and nonprofit sectors to launch Pay ID, a free and open standard designed to replace account numbers that are designed to be interoperable and easier to understand. Excuse me, moving down here, it says, Pay ID is structured so no single party controls or sets terms for joining in an attempt to encourage the collaboration that is necessary for interoperable digital identities to work. Okay, I'm going to stop right there to save time for this video breakdown. You guys can pause real fast and read the rest of this, but this is just to show you guys that Ripple is involved with digital identities, right? Now, let's move on. This is a very interesting fundamental right here. This is directly from Accenture. OK, you guys can see up at the top, it says right here, payments on the fast lane. And if we come down here to page 23, it says right here, a natural extension in the real time payments value chain is international remittances. A real time credit payment service in Europe is already implementing this service in 34 single euro payment areas or the SEPA zone countries. Ripple, a technology partner, is offering international remittances through a decentralized payments network. The ISO 222 standard, remember, we previously talked about what? ISO 222 being involved with digital identities. Let me just find that real fast. If we scroll down here. It says right here, ISO 222 is developing mobile driver's license, right? That is gaining a lot of traction, especially in the U.S., okay? Who was involved? Okay, you guys see, what is Accenture? Accenture is what? They are involved with federal agencies, okay? All 15 cabinets. You guys see, Accenture helps governments with digital transformations. Do you guys see, okay? ISO 2022 being mentioned on this fundamental PDF right here from the World Economic Forum, talking about the ISO being involved with digital identities. You guys now see Ripple launching Pay ID, okay? You guys see digital identities. You guys picking up what I'm putting down, right? I hope so. I really, truly hope so. Um, so like I said, you guys can pause this, move on. Um, we see Accenture mentioning ISO 2022, Ripple. Okay. Now, Cyprus, Ripple, Accenture, they didn't mention anything about digital identities. Let me move on. This is straight from Accenture. Talks about pay ID. We know who established pay ID. Ripple did. Okay. Here's a document straight from Accenture. It says Accenture, Accenture blog. The platform allows large amounts of remittances information to be transferred along with payments, including images, invoices, and more. It uses the addressing service, PayID, which allows users to link their financial accounts to phone numbers. This is directly from Accenture, the Accenture website. Moving on, we have another World Economic Forum PDF right here. The known traveler, unlocking the potential of digital identity for secure and seamless travel. Would you guys believe me if I said that Accenture, Ripple, and the World Economic Forum were all involved in some way, shape, or form in this PDF? Because they are, right? You think it's a coincidence? It's not. World Economic Forum right here. It says in collaboration with the center. And if you type in command F, right? And you look up Ripple right down here. It says Hyperledger, Ripple, examples of what? Types of distributed ledger architectures. If we zoom in right here, what does it say? Unlocking the potential of digital identity for secure and seamless travel. Hmm, straight on a World Economic Forum website in collaboration with Accenture. Here's another collaboration with Accenture in the World Economic Forum, just so that way I didn't make it a coincidence, right? Once, once it's a coincidence. Twice, it ain't no coincidence. Here's another PDF just to show you guys Accenture's involved with the World Economic Forum. Last but not least, just to tie this all up and wrap this all up, just hopefully I blew everybody's mind. I know that there were some fundamentals that I could leave out. I just tried to find as many fundamental documents on the back end that I could where Ripple is mentioned in Accenture PDFs. Here's an Accenture PDF right here. It's called Unchained at the top. Um, how the Middle East can unleash blockchain's transformative potential. And it mentions Ripple over 18 times in this document. Um, again, this is directly from Accenture. We also see right here, this is another document Ripple mentioned over 18 times on this one. And then this one is even more interesting, okay? Because this one is from Accenture. And the name of this PDF is Unlocking Infinite Value, right? That's a pretty big one. It says right here, startup alliances, alliances with leading blockchain startups such as Ripple. Okay, so just to, again, show you partnerships with Accenture, how massive this all plays with digital identities. And then last but not least, this is the last PDF I have, again, an Accenture PDF, Accenture, Ripple, right? And if we scroll down here to page six, this is where it gets interesting. Defining a cross-border settlement scheme, it says... A settlement mechanism is needed to be adopted for settling cross-border payments in fiat currency. This cannot be avoided in distributed ledger 
technology payment networks unless it operates only with its own cryptocurrency issued on the network to make payments, such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. Fiat currency could be issued on a DLT network, but any initiative to do so would probably need to be driven by central banks to issue the cryptocurrency. Ripple has its own native digital asset XRP, which can be used for the settlement, reduce liquidity cost. And it says right here, uh, this figure, figure two, which we're going to get into, shows Accenture's payment scheme operating model framework and its components with Ripple's distributed ledger technology as the core infrastructure and under the control of participating banks. Now, if we scroll down here, it says Accenture's payment scheme operating model framework. We can see right here, right here it says infrastructure, Ripple distributed ledger technology, platform integration. And right here it says, thus, it is necessary to have a scheme for the settlement of cross-border payments operating on a distributed ledger technology network. Boom, right there. Just to solidify the connection with Ripple, Accenture, everything that I showed you guys surrounding Elon Musk's involvement with his approval of for human trial with this neural link, how his companies are doing what? Heavily involving themselves with this digital transformation in Ukraine. Again, proving to you guys that the World Economic Forum and Accenture are both confirming that the automotive and aerospace industry are going to be the most disrupted in the form of jobs from cryptocurrencies. How Elon Musk is heavily involved in both of those industries, you guys, are you guys starting to see, right? We talked about digital identities. We know Accenture's role in the government. We now know Ripple's role in connection with the center. I hope that you all were able to pick up on the breadcrumbs that I dropped for you all today. Man, I'm telling you what. <laughs> if people watched longer videos, I would have been able to put so much more information in this video. If you all enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. As always, do your own personal research. I'm not telling you guys to go out and invest in Ripple, the company, or XRP. This is me simply just showing you guys how deep the rabbit hole goes. Make sure that you follow us over on the Rubble channel as well. We've reached 15,000 subs on YouTube. We will be doing a giveaway towards the end of this month, so pay attention for that. Once we reach 1,000 subs on Rumble, we will also be doing a giveaway. Many blessings to you all. As always, I appreciate the love and the support. It does go a long way when you smash that thumbs up button. It does help boost the algorithm. I know that it gets repetitive, but it does help. Many blessings to you all. Be cognizant, be aware, and I'll see you all in the next video breakdown.